we need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live. Matt Lenham Boxing Social in association with freebets.com, Empire Fight Star, Forged Irish Stout. <sighs> and ready to fight. We're here. Jamie Conlon. It's getting harder, I'm not going to lie. These sponsor shout outs, but it's got to be done. Um, Lewis Crocker, devastating knockout. With everything that's gone on in the week, um, question marks over the weight and stuff like that. A um, little bit of pressure coming into it. And a guy like Felix, who was one of the toughest guys I've seen in a ring, um, good performance, you must be happy. Oh, most definitely. He did have a hard week, very, very hard week. A lot of people putting doubts in his head, questions in his head, and a lot of things to answer. And the only way he had the answer was by using his fists and, and getting in there tonight and putting on a performance. He was vicious. He was so aggressive. I know people were saying like that the GGG comment about the, the punching and stuff like that, but he just hit so hard. And when you hear it up close and personal, you, you can feel it and you, you get why they say it. But that body punch was unbelievable. Jose Felix is a warrior. Like I, I don't think anyone was getting up from that body shot. And then he got up and lasted another round and, and went down and tried to go toe to toe with him as well. That was the that was the most bravest thing and boldest thing I've seen. So unbelievable. Um, ticked a lot of boxes again. You know, didn't get the finish in the throw McKenna fight, which he was looking to do, and it looked like it was a bit more of. A, you know, the, the build up of that kind of got, got to him a bit where he was playing to the camp, playing to the people, playing to the fight, playing to whatnot. This team, it was all business and he, and he went out there. Jose Felix, first two rounds, they become tricky, started to move, started to try to uh, make him follow his shots and he adjusted, started to jab more, close the distance better and, and then was getting and punching when he was punching back. So, fantastic performance. By the end of the next? It's been talked. Yeah, it's, it's, if you're there, you feel it. It's a fate that probably is building in the right direction. It's a fate with two Irish fighters who are on the cusp of something big and, and they're, they are taking a lot of the boxes. And like, Why not? Why, what's 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 saying? But there is. There's another method. There's a few other guys being mentioned. and There was two welterweights on the card tonight, Conor Walker and, and Paddy Donovan. And you know, They're the kind of fates that, that Lewis Crocker wants and to propel himself to the next level. We believe here in the city, internally, we all believe that this guy can become world champion. I've never seen anyone hit as hard as in my life. Mm -hmm. And when he hits you, you stay hit. Yeah, I mean, forget the body shot for a minute, the one that he hit him to the head with and how he landed. But what staggered, you know, astounded me more than anything else. He was, he was back up. He, he walked out of that ring gutted that he couldn't carry on, which you don't see that often. I don't. He's came, he came, he was in Belfast for Turn McKenna, we done it in the park, and I got to know him, I got to know Paco, his father. These are good people, real good people, real good boxing people. And, you know, I don't like being on the other side of the ring for them because obviously mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wanting them to lose, but you just can't help but like them. You know, they're, they're, yeah. but they're ballsy people, they're hard people, hard working people, and a true fighter, a true warrior is what, what, what Jose Felix is. Um, so have a look at the rest of the card. Um, Kurt Walker, another a fight that he took on, I believe nine days notice, something like that. Tough fight. I mean, in terms of matchmaking, <laughs> a fight that he just wanted to get through. <laughs> what a fight! It was. It turned out a wee bit, a wee bit tougher and sweating, and I was kind of looking for Tom Dallas to say, <laughs> you don't. Yeah. But um, it, again, it's what he needs. You know, he needed. I think you were now thinking it was going to be a wee, like a handy enough one, and we're just going to take our way through this to get to, to something big in March. And you know, uh, Martinez had some had other ideas and came with him and just started throwing bombs from the outset. And he had to be switched on, and it actually be, became a very entertaining fight. Yeah. Um, there's so much to look forward to this year. I feel now when these these Irish fighters in particular who are just on the cusp of that next level and the young ones coming through. What are you looking forward to in the next couple of months in terms of shows? I'm assuming you've got stuff in the pipeline to be announced maybe next week at some point, but what are you looking forward to this year now? Yeah, we're looking forward, I think, to coming back here to the Ulster Hall end of March. Um, we're just waiting on confirming a kind of fight in the headline act and we're, we're just closing things in. We're hoping to be announcing something by the end of the week, but that's our next next yeah. move. And then we've been speaking with Frank about doing something in the summer with, with Crack again in the SSE with a few dates pencilled there. And, 
we'll have a, a, a bit of calls, a bit of communication over the next next week or two and see see what the next move is. What about the park? Um, I know Michael's done stuff there, but in terms of just going back there, like the atmosphere that that creates, you you wanting to do that again at the park and put a show on there outdoors somewhere? It'd be unbelievable. In the start of August, end of April or end of July, we we are looking. We are looking at uh, looking at that. I have spoke to the Kevin Gamble about about uh, something to do in the park. I've mm -hmm. spoke with Frank Smith about it as well, and just seeing seeing how the land lies. And, and uh, yeah, we're definitely looking at something in the park. Jamie, I appreciate your time. Cheers, man. It was good to see you this week. We need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live.